Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this episode of Mornings with Grace, where we come together to command and win our day with our words and our thoughts and put them into alignment with the word of God so that we can walk boldly and confidently in the power, the authority, and the grace that God just has ready for us to just grab on to, okay? As you guys can see, the topic today is no weapon formed. So I'm really excited to get into today's episode. Just a few church announcements before we get started. While I make these announcements though, make sure that you have something to take notes with, okay? But just a few church announcements. If you haven't already, make sure that you share this with somebody. Share Mornings with Grace with a friend, a family member, a random person, whoever. Share this with somebody. I literally dare you to share this with three people because you never know how you're helping that person, okay? Secondly, if you have not already, make sure that you go click the link in the bio, my bio to, to be specific. Check out the Successful Servant Leader podcast. Check out my personal blog. The work literally does not stop here. So if you're loving Mornings with Grace, make sure that you click that link in the bio. Check out the podcast. Check out the blog. And now you can also check out my YouTube channel. I have two channels. I have a life channel and I have a business channel. And so whatever fits your prerogative, make sure you go check that out and you subscribe to those things because the work just doesn't stop here. Like the work is continuous and God is continuing to expand the territory of successful servant leaders. So I'm very, very excited about that. And I think that's it. That's all you guys. We're about to get into this topic of no weapon formed and we are going to be in the book of Isaiah today, Isaiah 54 to be exact. So y'all already know Isaiah 54. You may or may not know. But it's a very, very, very powerful chapter. Um, it is one that is widely known, um, especially those in the fivefold ministry, those that have just been in the church. Isaiah 54 is their goal too. And so I'm ready, really excited to get into it. I don't think I said this already, but the first 90 days of power or the first 90 days of mornings with grace is based off of this book, 90 Days of Power Prayer by Kind and Bridges. If you want to get this book for yourself, you can also click that link in the show notes. Get this book for yourself, gift it to somebody, do a challenge with yourself, a friend, your church, whatever the case is. You want to get this book and the link is in my bio, okay? And so how it works is we read devotional, we read scripture, and then we read our power prayer. And like I said, y'all, today we are in Isaiah 54. So I'm going to read in the King James Version, then I'm going to head on over to the New Living Translation, okay? So no weapon form. And it says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. So even before I head over to the New Living Translation, you got to understand how powerful this is. Remember, we're coming together to command and win our day with our words and our thoughts. Right. And so with this, we are literally putting in our head and speaking out of our mouth. First of all, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper, period. Every tongue that will that speaks against me um, is condemned. And then this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. So this is the inheritance. This is the, the lineage. This is what is rightfully owned to me because of what Jesus Christ did for me on the cross. Um, and the righteousness of God, says the Lord. And so um, I just think that this is so powerful. We're going to read the New Living Translation so that we can make sure we know exactly what the word is saying. But I hope you guys are with me. I hope you're with me. And you know, I always talk about the New Living Translation and how it titles sections of the Bible. This particular one for Isaiah 54, it's only 17 verses. And so the title is Future Glory for Israel. I'm sorry, future glory for Jerusalem. And so just know and understand you're part of that future glory. You're a part of that glory. Like you are the remnant of the children of God. Okay. And so I'm gonna head down to verse 17 and it says, but in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every single voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. 
I, the Lord, have spoken. That is just so powerful, and I have to encourage you. Please go back for yourself and read Isaiah 54, verse 17. If you don't even believe it yet, like I always say, even if you don't believe it yet, just go back and speak it, speak it, speak it over your life. There's so many times that I have just prayed specific prayers and I did not believe it yet. I was in a space where I just didn't believe it yet. And eventually it started to really come. And I'm like, dang. I'm seeing this really happen in my life and I'm actually believing it like that little faith the size of a mustard seed that I had to just utter those words have now become manifest in my life and in my situation and so I pray that that was a blessing to you and so as we get into the devotional make sure that you have those notes so that you can write things down as Holy Spirit speaks to you okay so it says many years ago I worked in the insurance business I will sell life and health insurance policies to those in need of coverage. A policy is is simply a legal document outlining the benefits of the insured and the responsibilities of the insurer. Most customers rarely read their policy, and this is why they are often taken by surprise when they file a claim. Now, we are in our adult ages. I mean, how many times have have you actually read a policy for anything? Not even just health insurance. I mean... I'm guilty. So, yeah. (laughs) The word of God is like that insurance policy. In it, we are promised certain benefits and blessings. We are promised certain benefits and blessings. So if you ain't get it from me before that this is your inheritance, that this is what rightfully belongs to you, that this is what Jesus did, that he died on the cross for you to have these things. This is your promise. If you I, I don't think it can get any simpler than that. In the Bible, we are promised certain blessings and benefits. One of these benefits is divine protection against the slanderous tongue. So one of these, just one of these benefits, there are many, many benefits. One of these benefits is divine protection against the slanderous tongue. As I mentioned previously, words are very powerful. They have the power to build up and tear down. The devil is the accuser of the brethren and he makes it his business to launch verbal accusations slanders and curses at god's people what you have to understand is the enemy is not coming out like that little red guy that little red demon with the with the uh, horns and the pitchfork no the enemy is coming in so many different ways people around you random people that you don't know people on the job people in your business um all these different types of things that's how the enemy is showing up the enemy is showing up too as negativity negative thoughts that come to your mind so you have to be able to understand and identify the enemy's tricks and schemes because he's not coming to you dressed as you know this little red guy with horns and a pitchfork okay so it says little does the enemy of your soul know that we have the cover we have coverage let me say let me say this again little does the enemy of our soul know that we have coverage against curses and slander in our policy in Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou, excuse me, thou shalt condemn. Isaiah 54 verse 17 coverage, period. Just like you go to section 1B, I, whatever of your insurance policy, it's the same thing. Go to Isaiah 54 and 17 of your insurance policy of your life, okay? And you let the enemy know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that comes up against you is condemned in the name of Jesus, period. So it says, notice that it never promised us that weapons wouldn't form. So it never promised us that weapons would not form. But it does promise us that when they are formed, they will not prosper or they will not succeed. They will not flourish. Okay. The Bible goes further to say that every tongue that rises against us in judgment, we shall condemn. This is the Hebrew word rasha, which means to condemn as guilty in civil relations. Don't be dismayed by the lies and accusations that are being launched against you. Please don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. I had to just, I had to remind myself of this same thing. Like, do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed. Do not feel like, dang, why is this happening? And I know that this is just not true about me. Like, you have to understand what the plans and schemes of the enemy are. The word does not say that weapons will not form. But it says when they do form, they will not prosper. So, 
You are covered. Every false accusation leveled against you will come under condemnation. Unfortunately, I am speaking from experience. I'm speaking from experience. The guy who wrote the book is speaking from experience. And I'm sure you too can speak from experience as well. I have learned to stand on the word of God and watch him enforce his promises. We got to understand that that the spiritual realm is just like the laws in the natural realm. How we have laws and speed limits and, and tickets that we get for not, you know, obeying the law. Um, and when people go to jail or prison for not obeying the law, it's literally the same thing in the spiritual realm. And for us, our book of laws, our book of coverage, so laws, coverage, uh, rules, uh, what to do, what not to do, it is the Bible. And the enemy has to follow those rules as well. The only time that the enemy kind of gets leeway to not follow those rules is when you don't get that insurance policy. You don't tap into your insurance policy. Have you paid your money today for your insurance policy? So when you pay your money, have you spent time with God today to enforce your insurance policy? Have you read the word today? Have you reminded yourself of what the word says about you and what the word says about your situation and what the word says that the enemy just cannot do in your life? Have you reminded yourself of that? That is your form of payment. When you do the spiritual work that needs to be done, that is a form of payment and so you have to understand you got to know that everything this whole entire world this whole entire ecosystem is based off of laws not just the laws that man has created that you know the founding fathers of this nation has created the founding fathers of europe and all of this and that no the founding father the founding father he has created laws and insurance Sorry, y'all. He has created laws and insurance policies for us, which is found in the word, in his word. Okay, so I hope that makes sense for y'all. I really do hope that makes sense. I'm really excited to get into this because I think a lot of times we don't really understand the power and the authority that we really have. Like a judge, a Supreme Court justice, a judge over a, a circuit court, whatever it is, they have power and authority because that is what has been given to them by them going to school and by them, you know, doing whatever it is, taking that board exam, whatever it is to get that position. And you have to understand that we have that same position and that right through the word of God. We have that same position and that right through our inheritance of the blood of Jesus. But a lot of times we just don't even know about it because we don't read the word. This is a book here, but we don't read the word. You know, there's so many different ways for you to have the word evident in your life. All you got to do is download it. No matter what type of phone you have, you can get the Bible app on your phone. Period. The, you can go to the dollar store and get a Bible. Period. Uh, if your children don't have Bibles yet, I was just at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. I'm not talking about Dollar General where they're taxing a little bit. I'm talking about the exact Dollar Tree where it's, everything is a dollar. They have children's Bibles. They have um, Christian or biblically based coloring books. Like There are so many different ways for that to just get into the mind of your children so that as you raise them up in the way that they should go, they already have it. Okay, And this, the same is available to you too. Um, and so... As we get into the power of prayer, I always invite you to say the prayer with me. Say the prayer with me so that as it comes out of your mouth, it becomes manifest. It becomes evident in your atmosphere, okay? So, today's power of prayer on our topic, No Weapon Formed, is as follows. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the promises of your holy word. I know that your word will never return void, but will accomplish everything that you have sent it to do. I declare that your word is the final authority in my life. I declare that no weapon formed against me will prosper and every false accusation, slander, lie, or curse spoken by the evil one and those under his influence will be condemned. I declare that the blood of Jesus covers me and I dwell under the shadow of his wings. I declare that no evil thing will be able to take root in my life. I say, return to sender, okay? To every curse spoken against me or my loved ones 
in the name of Jesus. I declare that anyone being used by the devil to speak evil against me is released from their demonic assignment right now and is set free by the power of the blood. I declare that all assaults from the evil one will cease and desist right now in the name of Jesus. I declare the divine enforcement of every promise in the word of God for my life. I declare that it is well with every area of my life in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. If you are just joining us, make sure that you go back and read or listen to this prayer and say it out of your own mouth and back to understanding that spiritual and natural is the there are laws that have that demons have to follow there are what laws that angels have to follow there are certain things that demons cannot do unless you give them access to do that thing and so if you notice in this prayer there are very specific words that are used like enforcement enforcement that is something that you hear usually when it comes to the law um let me see what else did he say authority that is something that when you think that that's usually something that's used when it comes to law um, let me see. Assignments, enforcement. Um, you guys get the point. You get the point. Okay. You have to start treating your spiritual life as if there are laws that the enemy just cannot break. Like you have to literally say, Oh, no, sir, no, ma'am. Isaiah 54, verse 17, this is my insurance policy. It says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And so even though I'm experiencing an attack right now, even though you're trying to make me lose my job and you're trying to attack me on the job, even though you're trying to say that my business is not this and that, even though you're trying to put negativity into my thoughts, no weapon, no word slander formed against me shall prosper. And that's just that. And I'm going to keep it pushing because if it's not meant for me to be on this job, I already know God has something else ready for me. If it's not meant for me to work with you as a client, I already know I got other clients already lined up. If it's not meant for you to watch my YouTube channel, then I got other people that's watching my YouTube channel. However it is that you make your money, however it is that you feed your family, please know and understand that the enemy does not have any right to it unless you allow him to have right to that. The enemy doesn't have rights to your mind unless you allow him to have rights to your mind. And you have to understand that the words that come out of your mouth gives the, uh, the, gives the enemy power and authority in your life or strikes him down and sends him back to hell where he came from. It's literally that simple. So you have to know and understand that you have this power and this authority and that when I say power, authority, and grace, I literally mean like there are laws in the spiritual realm. Um, and so I don't know all about this. I just know for a fact that it is facts. I plan to do a podcast on this sometime soon with a really good friend. And she knows all about the laws of the spiritual land. Okay, babe. And I'm excited to get into that and share that with you guys. But I pray that this episode of Mornings with Grace was powerful for you. If it was, make sure that you share this with at least three other people. Okay, share this with somebody else who needs this. Or even if you don't even know if they need it, share this with somebody. And don't forget that it does not stop here. The work doesn't stop here. Click that link in the bio, listen to the podcast, uh, get into the YouTube channel, read the blog, whatever it is, make sure that you do your part and you don't stop here with the work, okay? So I'll see you guys, same time, same place, back here tomorrow for Mornings with Grace.